everyone. This is Ashley Tucker from My Favorite Things. For today's card, I'm going to be using the Friendly Forest Faces die set, which allows you to create some really cute animal faces. The set includes dies for making a fox, a bunny, a hedgehog, and a bear. For my card today, I'm going to be using all of the dies that make the hedgehog. I started by taking the main die for the hedgehog face, and I cut it out of some brown cardstock. I then took one of the wonky stitched mini slimline frame dies, that was a little bit of a mouthful to say, I grabbed one of those frame dies and I cut the brown card stock so that the face is going to be nicely framed by that wonky edge. Next I took that main die for the face again and I cut it out of several different pieces of cardstock in different colors so that I could grab the different pieces that it cuts out and then later I'll be able to put them all together to make my face. And while I was doing all of this die cutting, I was keeping the pieces that I need in this little dish so that I don't lose them. It's really easy to lose small pieces like this, so I recommend putting them in some kind of container. I also used the die that makes the little nose and mouth, and I cut that out of some black cardstock. And then I cut the little circle dies, which are for the blush on the cheeks, out of some pink cardstock. Once I had all of my pieces cut, I grabbed a piece of black cardstock, which I cut to be slightly smaller than my piece of brown cardstock. And I'm going to add some tape runner to that and adhere it to the back of my brown cardstock. Now, as you can see, I'm adding a lot of adhesive right where that face is going to be so that I can very easily piece together all of the parts of the face. This way I can just stick those pieces right in and there's already adhesive there so they'll stick really easily. Now when I'm dealing with small pieces of paper like this, I really like to use a jewel picker. It makes getting those really tiny pieces into place much easier. For the mouth and nose, as well as the two circles for the blush, I put some glue onto a scrap piece of paper, and then I dipped those pieces into it and placed them onto the hedgehog. This worked really well for the mouth and nose piece because I could hold it with tweezers really easily and dip it, but because I couldn't hold the little dots of blush with the tweezers well, this was kind of difficult to do with those pieces. So if I were to do something like this again, I would instead just put little dots of glue on the face and then adhere the blush using my jewel picker. I picked out a colorful piece of patterned paper from the Rainbow Plaid Paper Pad and I cut it down so that it's going to be just slightly smaller than my A2 size card base. I then used some foam tape to adhere my hedgehog face onto that patterned paper so that it's peeking up from the bottom of the paper. And I just used my paper trimmer to trim off the excess that's hanging off of the bottom. I then added more foam tape to the back of that whole piece and I popped that up onto my card base. For my sentiment, I took out the Woodland Words stamp set and I picked out one of the sentiments that talks about hedgehogs and I stamped it with VersaFine Onyx Black ink onto some white cardstock and then I cut it down with a stitched sentiment die. I added some foam tape to the back of that as well because I love dimension and because the sides of this strip are going to be hanging off of that hedgehog piece, they need a little bit more foam tape there because they're going to be just a little bit higher. So I added two more pieces of foam tape just on those edges and then I popped it up on the bottom of the card. Now you could leave the hedgehog face just like that and it would be super cute but I had a thought while I was looking at it and I thought it might be fun to add these little black half beads on top of the eyes to give them a little bit more dimension. So I just glued those right on top and I love the way that that came out. It adds a little bit something different. To finish off this card, I added a whole bunch of clear and white sequins all across the entire card, but I did try to kind of group them up in groups of threes so that they kind of have that triangle look to them, which is just something in design that makes them a little bit more visually pleasing. 
After that, this card is all done, and I think that this one turned out super cute. And I can't wait to try out the other faces in the die set. I really want to make a bear card next. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.